tell my Mercedes Lackey story. So here is the thing. Um, I have multiple blog posts about my absolute adoration for Mercedes Lackey. I grew up reading the Valdemar books and um, I feel like they're incredibly important books, especially to female readers of my age group because they really targeted in the cover art and everything girls. They, they, they targeted female, a female reader base um, with these kinds of covers, right? This is a classic Mercedes Lackey cover. Put a, a horse on the cover and then usually there was also a girl. So it was a girl and a horse on a cover. Um, and I was just the right age and the perfect target for a Mercedes Lackey demographic. So I basically grew up reading Mercedes Lackey and just totally adored her books. Um, and the most important thing for me in these books was that she has always been very generous and for me one of the first authors I ever read who had queer characters and was kind to her queer characters and gave them love interests and treated them as whole humans. Um, and so to read that in a book that was targeted towards a young girl was just miraculous. And um, the thing is, is that it normalized that for me. It made me think, oh, when you write fantasy, queer characters are just part of that world. They're part of that universe um, because she did it. Um, so, so she's just like a, she's basically a hero of mine. <laughs> so I was at a, um, a festival, a young adult and children's book festival called Y'all Fest, which is down in the south. It's in Charleston. And, and it's a wonderful festival. And it turned out Mercedes Lackey was there too. Now, I didn't know this and she didn't at the time and she still doesn't have a very big social media presence. Um, so I didn't know what she looked like either. I've never had, the, even though I've been in fandom forever, I never had a chance to meet her in person. So, I, but I look like this, cause I always look like this. <laughs> so I am walking around the kind of author gathering kickoff party, um, which was amazing. And I'm wandering around and I'm there with my little friend, Lauren, who I have, who's also a writer, who's a newer writer, um, younger, she's a generation, she's a Harry Potter generation kid, but she still loves Mercedes Lackey. And um, Lauren is great. She's a lot of fun. I snuck her in as my assistant. <laughs> I was like, Lauren, come to this thing with me and just hang out and meet other authors. <laughs> it was great. Um, and so Lauren and I are walking down this, these like grand stairs at this party. So you have to imagine all of these authors being swanky or trying to be swanky and not really carrying it off very well because, well, we're, we're authors. And uh, this fantastic woman starts moving up the stairs at the same time that I'm moving down them. And she's wearing these sort of Grecian jade robes and uh, she looks like she sort of maybe walked off of a fantasy set or um, a red, out of a renaissance fair or something um, and she just stops on the stairs and she stares at me and she says I know who you are and I look like this so I'm used to this right <laughs> like I'm wearing vintage I, I know I know I know how the game is played right and and I says oh, oh that's good she says you're Gail Carriger and I was like yes Yes, I am Gail Carriger. And she says, you don't know this, but I'm Mercedes Lackey and I love your books. <laughs> and I lost my mind. I totally was unable to speak. I am surprised I didn't just collapse right there on the steps because it was just the most magical experience. I think probably of my whole author career to have like this goddess <laughs> who formed part of my whole identity as a human being just be like oh yeah i've read your books <laughs> i was like oh, oh my god thank goodness lauren is right with me and lauren is like quick on the mark she's like oh my god mercedes lackey we love you mercedes lackey and i'm like uh-huh we really do love you, Mercedes Lackey. Of course, you have to use her for full name the whole time, right? And Lauren is like, we think you are so important because you gave us girl readers when we were kids queer identities to model in fantasy and no one else was doing that. Um, and Lauren is like, you and us should go grab champagne and we will tell you how marvelous you are. And Mercedes like, he's like, 
sure. And so Lauren and I spent, ended up spending the entire evening with her just like talking about 90s fantasy and early writers from that time period and how formative her work was and oh my god it was just great it was a totally magical evening and i was such a fan girl um and the the addendum to that story is that maybe a year or two later i am walking around worldcon i think it was in spokane so i'm walking out around the worldcon dealer's room and there behind a booth is Mercedes Lackey, who I now know what she looks like, right? And I like I wave at her, I was like, oh my god, Mercedes Lackey, I don't know if you remember, but I'm Gail and we met at um we met at Yacht Fest a couple years ago. And she was like, I totally remember you, of course. And she comes running out from behind the table and she just gives me this big hug. And I was like, Oh my god, are we are we friends? Are we are we hugging friends now? Am I friends with Mercedes Lackey. Ah. So yeah, that is my like completely geeky uh, fangirl this. Um, yeah, so apparently I saw her again a couple years later. Apparently Mercedes Lackey and I are now friends. <laughs>